Now, with a hunger strike now two months old and 100 inmates refusing food, President Obama has renewed his intention to shut down the Guantanamo Detention Centre, declaring he did not want people to die. And the sheer expense of the camp could aid his cause. Figures from the Pentagon show the costs of keeping inmates is almost a million dollars per prisoner per year. Our Washington correspondent Matt Fry has this. Of the United States and the interests of justice, I hereby order that Guantanamo will be closed. Uh, no later than one year from now. But they didn't. That was more than four years ago on his first day in office. There we go. Today, these confident words haunt this place. They were followed by almost continuous silence from the president until late last week. But spot the difference in tone from a man humbled by inertia. The idea that we would still maintain forever uh, a group of individuals who have not been tried, that is contrary to who we are, it is contrary to our interests, and it needs to stop. So why these words now? The answer is the hunger strike, which has spread to 100 detainees, most of whom were cleared for release or transfer many years ago. Detainees like Shaka Ame, a 44-year-old British resident at Guantanamo Bay for over a decade, never been charged, cleared in 2007, and now on hunger strike for 80 days. This is the chair in which inmates are now force-fed. This is the feeding tube with which it's done, and here's an old show-and-tell courtesy of a camp guard. Um, our goal here is to preserve life. We don't, it is not our policy to break a hunger strike. Okay. What we do is in someone whose uh, physical health and life is in danger because of the degree of their hunger strike, we will provide nutritional support. Nutritional support? Stephen Truitt, a lawyer who's represented a number of Yemeni detainees and has visited Guantanamo 18 times, calls it torture. It is an unconsented battery uh, in legal terms, which means, yes, absolutely, it is... Uh, uh, even though it's undertaken supposedly for the good of the patient, if the patient doesn't agree to it, that's the end of the inquiry. And that's what... Uh, so it's torture? It is, without a question in my mind. They don't waterboard here anymore, but apart from that, conditions are as bad as they were in the years immediately after 9-11. For instance, communal living has now been replaced by solitary confinement in order to break the hunger strike. And these PR pictures released by the camp give a surreal snapshot of daily life. The trays of food left uneaten and dumped, the camp motto, and the armchair for comfortable television viewing, complete with ankle shackles, a fitting symbol perhaps for the grotesque legal limbo that is Guantanamo Bay. The president blames congressional opposition for his inability to close the camp, but why not just release most of the prisoners to their country of origin? Yemen wants its citizens back and has asked for them. Obama says, well, you haven't given us sufficient assurances, therefore we're not going to do it. Now, if he just did it, it would be over and done with. And if I would venture to say that if that happened, the hunger strike would end tomorrow. In recent years, Guantanamo Bay has been largely out of sight and out of mind for the American public. This may have been politically convenient in Washington but inaction has also led to today's hunger strikes. If and when inmates start dying, Guantanamo Bay will once again make headlines for all the worst reasons.